I can do a what? Huh? <laughs> so you know how to stop uh, an aquifer? An aquifer? Yeah, you throw a bomb on it. What? Take their country. What are you talking about, bro? Don't you know? No. Oh. Kill those villagers. Yep. Awesome, there's white people on the roof. White people? Where? A little past the alpha one. We can't have any white people, it's June. Yeah. We get them off the roof. They either have to be alphabet community or black. Black. No other colors, just black. <laughs> the only one that's allowed. God damn, that motherfucker did not want me over there. So what have you heard about new Call of Duty anyway? Um, it's Gulf War. Gulf War? Okay, because I'm hearing different stories about that. Because... What point of the Gulf War? I don't know. Yeah, because did we even have boots on the ground combat in the Gulf War? I don't think we did. Uh, I think like after the fact, like after we like bombed the shit out of like Saddam Hussein. Yeah. Because I know Saddam is going to be in this one, supposedly. Yeah, uh, US. Air Force basically like decimated the whole entire like country in like 30 <laughs> minutes. Yeah. Like, it was insanely fast. And then Saddam was like, all right, I'll stop. And then he like started doing some other stuff. And then eventually I mean, he went in and like captured him. And then we gave him back. And then he got stone or he got hung and stone and dragged through the rest of uh, whatever country he was I remember in. that part. Yeah. So if I could do that to him, that'd be possible. cool. Nah, we're probably not gonna get to do that part. I want another no, no Russian mission. They did say that 9-11 will be featured in this game. I don't know why you would want 9-11 to be featured. There you go. 9-11 will be featured in Black Ops 6, supposedly. Uh, I know Bill Clinton's going to be in it, Margaret Thatcher's going to be in it, so... Interesting... Interesting cast. I want a mission where I can play as Bill Clinton. That's what I want. I, I hope the entire game is just us killing people on the Clinton list. I hope- I want those to be the Black Ops that they're referring to. Be, I mean, it's, it wouldn't be a Black Ops game if, you know, Is it gonna, there's gotta uh, be some conspiracy. kind of, uh, not conspiracy, but there's gotta be some kind of boots on the ground shit. There's gotta be a reason for a Black Op to exist. Maybe. You can't just have it for no reason. Oh, that was a good shot. Um... 
maybe when I'm trying to think. Like maybe when we took over Kuwait, like took it back. But that was that's like what after I was the, thinking. Like, ah, that's after the fact. Like we literally decimated Kuwait, the oil rigs, um, and some of was Iraq or Afghanistan. Um, but really, like no one, no one seems to know anything regarding what this game is actually gonna be about. All right, I'm shooting this man right in the head. Thank you. Uh, oh, yeah, um, I don't think I couldn't die, but that would make the most sense to me. Or some kind of like backdoor deal that, yeah, we kind of know about, but they're gonna just like blow the proportion because it's hot. Yeah, I mean, Black Ops 2 did that with the whole Noriega thing. Yeah. So it's entirely possible that they do that. I want the mission where we find Saddam Hussein, and I want them to have that little diagram. Saddam Hussein, like, in the cave with the air vent. <laughs> and then just Saddam Hussein. Wanna, I think that would be particularly I want the mission for the next one to be when we capture, uh... Uh, Osama bin Laden, and we send the dog in the hole. Well, because that's the thing, I don't know if we'll ever be allowed to have a Black Ops game take place in the modern day. Um, even though the, the question of what is modern day fucking fluctuates oh, as the modern day changes from year to year. Yep. <clears throat> also, you're gonna pick me up. God damn, right, I can't mind. hit these motherfuckers. Oh, were you dead next to me? Yeah, I, I was know. right now. I was like, pick me up. <laughs> uh, sorry, here, I'll come pick you up. I'm, I'm dead now. Alright, don't worry, I'll pick you up. Oh. You respawn. I think we can go modern day Black Ops, but I don't know what you would. Well, it's because Modern Warfare exists, that's the problem. And they're trying to make it so that Modern Warfare is in an active continuity with Black Ops, because we've seen, uh, supposedly in Cold War, because I never played Cold War, supposedly in Cold War, Victor Zakayev, the original, the OG, shows up in that game. Um, and Zakayev is, like, a big fucking deal in Modern Warfare, except he isn't in this particular Modern Warfare, ironically. Mm -hmm. Um, especially because his son, whatever the fuck his name, Zakayev, Ermin, Ermin right. Zakayev, or wait, was Ermin the father and Victor was the son? I don't remember. Uh, I think it was Ermin was the son. He gets killed in the war zone cutscenes in the first game, the ones that nobody watched. Right. Which is super lame. I was kind of hoping that Ermin Zakayev would have been Modern Warfare 2, but that's not what we got. <laughs> we got... Who the fuck showed up in Modern Warfare 2? I don't even remember. Who shows up in Modern Warfare 2? I, I guys Honestly, I played so the campaign, but I don't remember it. I don't even remember what happens either, yeah. It was so long ago. I think it was, um... Valeria, right? The the hot Latina bitch. She was the gun runner in oh, Mexico. Oh yeah, that's right. Graves was the bad guy. That's right, this was the Mexico. And they, remember they killed Graves, but then he just comes back in the third game anyway. And he's a good guy again. Yep. Which is insane. And, like, they wanted this series to be more grounded than the original, but they're already doing cartoony, dumb Fortnite bullshit by just having people come back like this is fucking Star Wars. And it's not. It's real life. And now, apparently, in Season 4 of Modern Warfare 3 or whatever for the multiplayer, Soap is back. 
So remember what? all that time ago? Yeah, when we made that joke, like, uh, he'll be back. It'll, it, it was a clone or it was his brother or something. I dead ass think that might be what they're doing. Is they might just say it was a clone or the, the, the soap that we're seeing now is a clone or something. I don't know. I don't take the multiplayer stuff into account as serious canon, but sometimes the games do, and I don't like that. Sometimes they do, sometimes they don't, but it's genuinely hard to tell when you should be taking it seriously and when you shouldn't. Like, obviously, you shouldn't take Nicki Minaj being in the game very seriously. He's running around in a pink outfit. Bright and yes. pink outfit. With the smallest hitbox. Obviously, box. that's a joke. But, like... It's, like, what am I supposed to make of that? You know what I mean? Like, when soap is back. Like, what? Because it's not like, oh, they added a soap skin. It's like, yeah, that'd be whatever, because soap is a playable character in the multiplayer. This is like, soap is back. Like, he's back somehow. Somehow soap returned after he got shot in the head and fucking cremated. You know what I mean? Like, what the fuck? <laughs> I... I don't know, maybe maybe I don't have all the information because I didn't really bother to look. I just know I saw a bunch of advertisements for soap being back and all of the comments being like, bruh was cremated. <laughs> or what we were saying before, it's like, ah, oh, it was his brother in that subway. Or it was actually a clone, it was a doppelganger. He knew that Makarov would shoot him, so he replaced himself with a shadow clone at the last second type of shit. No yeah, he did. He did substitution <laughs> jutsu. He substitution jutsu. <laughs> There's a log. <laughs> I can't. He used his Sharingan and put him in a genjutsu. It's just so fucking funny to me. Like, we called that shit. It's just a meaningless death, too. That was the thing that pissed me off. It was so meaningless that I was like, there ain't no way they're sticking to this. They're gonna they're gonna they're gonna find some way to retcon it later on down the line. Right. Oh my look at those clothes? What are they come down? Alright, can I swap weapons now? I don't wanna use this anymore. I gotta use this thing, the G36. Crack underscore glaze at you have a. Kevin, how many minutes? Twenty dollars here. Jason, there's a spawn beacon right here. Yeah, I know. I was getting around there. Boys in the building over here. Up the building. Yeah, like Call of Duty is such a joke as it is right now. It has potential I wish it to wasn't. actually do really well, but. It does, but they just keep fucking it up, and I'm over it, you know what I mean? Like, I'll play Black Ops 6, because it's gonna be on the Game Pass, like, hard confirmation at this point. Um... And, mostly because I'm honestly more willing to play that than I am whatever the next Battlefield is, solely because of... the fact that all I'm hearing about the next Battlefield is that it's just gonna be more live service, and that's the last thing I want from Battlefield. Uh, because, like, what? The, the only thing I heard about it is that, oh, it's going to have a better live service than the last one. It's like, stop, you're already fucking up. <laughs> Just shut the fuck up. Stop talking. Don't even tell us anything at this point. You're, you're better yeah, off right. not saying anything at all. Because as it stands, anything is better than 2042. But if you keep saying things that would make it worse, then... Yeah. It's not gonna be any better. <laughs> it's like... And it's not necessarily that the live service was the worst part of 2042, but it certainly contributed to why it wasn't as good as it could have been. Mm -hmm. Oh, that's a tank. Oh, okay. Well, there goes. And I think a lot of that. 
a lot of that is explicitly because of the um, the goofball nature of most live service cosmetics. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Like oh. it's always got to be some dumb looking goofy bullshit. Oh, give me a break. Yeah. I wouldn't much rather uh, play like a really good game, like a battle. If, like I said, I don't know where the new battlefield coming in. It'd be really cool if it was like, I don't know if they've done one since that company, but Desert Storm. Ooh, yeah. That's like a lot of combat. I want, uh, this is gonna be a weird pull, but I want Korean War. RKGS Jim Rob. I want Korean B2. War because it's such an untapped market. It's really There's weird. so many it's like, weird it, guns. It kind of just like happened and then that was it. Yeah, and I'd like it to be a bit more than that. I, like, I want there to be some representation for it, because there's like fucking nothing. And there's a lot of cool, interesting, weird, goofy guns and kit that was available at that time that could make for a really good uh, Korean war. Uh, and obviously, right... Oh, he's not dead? Obviously, I still want my Vietnam battlefield, but I would be fine with a Korean War Call of Duty or um, uh, uh, Battlefield, but I feel like a Korean War Call of Duty would make a bit more sense Just because I don't know the exact scale of the Korean War And that's another reason why I'd like there to be a Korean War game because it would just it was, get the word out more the Korean War is a bunch of back and forth of like the was it, 30th parallel it was the Koreans. Oh, yeah. In a, it was in a war. North, north and south. And then <laughs> north and south. In, <laughs> yeah. And then the south and the U.S. got pushed all the way to, like, the very, like, bottom of South Korea. And then they pushed all the way back. And then they turned yeah. on a ceasefire. Uh, the 30 parallel. That's why I think maybe a battlefield would be more suited. Because, like, a Call of Duty would have to have some dumb climax to its campaign. And because we can't just have the game end like we used to anymore. It's got to have some story. It's got to have some characters. Mm -hmm. But I think, I think um, Korean War is a really interesting setting. There's a lot. To do with it. Are we going to? We're gonna fight on the DMZ, like yeah. go to south, south to north, or north to south. You know what team you're on. <laughs> no, you're gonna know what team you're on. You're gonna know what team you're on. Dude, I'm shooting at that man's feet. I know, me too. <laughs> We're both just flinging shots at his toes, hoping that he dies, making him fucking Look, if dance. I can die by being shot in the foot on Park Hall, you can die in this by getting shot in the foot. Oh, you can, but I shot his foot like three times. You think behind us, Jason. Oh no, he's gonna be coming up front. You're right. We can solve this! We lost the friends! Reloading! We won't like it! Stop an enemy! Run! I'm reloading! Cha ching! Do something about that tank. Jason, you're dead over there. I'm gonna pick you up right in front of the tank. Run. Now we both get blown. Jason, you're dead over there. Yep. Don't worry, I'm gonna pick you up right in front of whatever enemies are here. Good luck. And in the house, I can't get in there. That's sad. I just 2v1 and went to Eagle. Eagle's pretty good, man. Like I was saying before, it's the best fucking sidearm in the game.
RKGS Jim Rob, GG. Sprag 3D, GG. Das Panzer 496, GG. Ah, second best. 30 kills, oh boy. How about we do a complete 180 on the battlefield and go back to the Civil War? I'd be fine with that. <laughs> Honestly. Well, while I'd spend three minutes loading my gun. Yeah, I mean, that part would suck, but... <sighs> yeah, <laughs> no, you're right, that would kind of suck. Uh, I think... It would mostly be a revolver game at that point. Uh, cause there's... Well, no, they had, um... They had some bolt actions then, didn't they? Then? They had some uh, bolt actions, I and I think they, they had like some self-loadings. Like... They were just extremely expensive. Because when was the Civil War? 18... 50? Or 18? Holy shit, I fucking forgot when the Civil War was. Uh, Jason, pull that up. Eight, uh, that's what I was googling. 1861 Jason, to 65. Yeah, so by 30 1865, minutes. they had, they had self-loadings, and they had bolt actions, so... I don't know how much they were used in that particular war. Where'd you drop uh, off to earlier? The, the things and stuff. Neat. You got you left right when Ed joined. Yeah, Ed's playing Ever Ever Quest. What? Ever Space. No, I didn't get back on. What are you talking about? What you talking about? What are you talking about? I wasn't even here for any of that. No, we were playing, um... Uh... We, were pl we played a few, like, three games of Rocket League, and then we also played, uh... A bunch of games of... X Defiant. Oh, well... Fast-paced game, man. Like, you gotta be... Like, I, I don't know what people gotta be on to... Play that shit, but damn. It's it's classic Call no of Duty, but on. worse. It ain't no took the tank, damn you better Mountain Dew. Backslash for sure. What about if we had Battlefield, but we're fighting Hamas? I'd be fine with that too. Like, uh, oh fuck, I forgot. <laughs> we're attacking. It's just running straight into the enemies. Is there any terrorist organization there? What if it was Battlefield, but we played as um, cops and robbers? All the black people would be dead. What if it was Battlefield, but we were all cavemen instead? We're all cavemen? Yeah, like Far Cry Primal, the game that sold millions. Don't tell anyone, but Jeff. Uh, We're streaming, Jeff Keely, so don't say anything. Jeff Keeley's uh, taking. Uh, he's doing a live AMA. I thought you were gonna say something crazy like a live cam show. Well, he is. I'll go watch he, that. I'll go watch he, that right now. Uh, Jeff Keeley he, cam show? Hell yeah. I, that's it's how on the game awards. <laughs> it's on the game awards. That's how the game uh, awards are gonna be from now on. Well, no, no, no. The game awards is hosting the uh, Jeff Keighley Q and A. When is the game awards anyway? It's not until like September, right? Yeah, but Summerfest is kicking off. The it's the the game awards is just hosting this this, this particular show mm. right now. Okay. Okay. So it's it's the summer game fest. 
doing it. Before. So it's it that's yeah, when, yeah that's Calling kicking off it. this week. We got a busy week ahead. We got another week. That's ahead true. That's that. true. We gotta do. You know what we gotta do? We gotta do the same thing we did last time. We're gonna have a ceremonial Starfield stream. Starfield sweep, everybody. Starfield will be good. We got the Olympics. <laughs> uh, boy. We're gonna do a Starfield stream. We're gonna we're gonna watch. Whatever it is, we're gonna watch. I'll, I'll I'll call off work and everything. We'll just we'll just watch. <laughs> we'll just watch Summer Games. But I'll, 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 I'll never miss a Jeff Keighley stream. Never. Never. Well, <laughs> tune in right now. <laughs> uh, I'll miss this one. I'm not. I'm not that worried about it. If it's an AMA, I don't. I'm not. The only thing I want to ask him is it whether he's got um, hair down there. No. Oh. Yeah, I'm gonna he's ask him. What? <laughs> what? Whether he's got what? what? What do you mean? If he, he has what? You want to ask him what? Huh? What do you want to ask him? What was the one thing you want to ask? him? I was him? gonna ask him how his day was going. Oh, that's what I asked. Yeah. Oh, okay. what did he answer? I don't know. I'm not listening. I'm watching. I'm not listening. Oh. Oh my. I was also gonna ask him if he's completely hairless from the neck down. I th wait, I think he was wearing a V-neck right now. So we could probably tell. We don't even need to ask. Yeah, when it cuts back to him, I'll. Ask, ask. I want that question answered. I don't want to know anything about games, I just want to know about Jeff Keighley. Personally. I'll just ask him if he recommends Nair. <laughs> yeah. I want to ask him what his phone number is. <laughs> what, if, what if people just start asking him a bunch of dumb fucking, like, genuinely personal questions? Jeff Keeley, have you called your mother recently? You know, like... As of the favorite hair removal was Nair. Hey, no, is your favorite uh, hair removal system Nair? It's your favorite deal, right? Hair removal system. Fuck me! How do you feel about bullets. the war in the Middle East? That's a good question to ask him. Ask him if he supports the Jews. <laughs> Uh, do you support Trump? Ask him if he's pro-Palestine. I'm asking if he supports Trump. Oh, Trump that's a good one. Proudly. Who are you gonna vote for in November? Yeah, ask him if he agrees with the verdict. I'm just pestering this poor man. This poor, do you poor support man. Trump? Proudly? Proudly, or do you support Trump in the closet? It, either answer is fine. I'm not gonna judge you. <laughs> but, you uh, <laughs> no, none of the questions are, do you support Trump? It's just, how do you oh, support just, Trump? Who? <laughs> <laughs> where? I just like, said, not even in there do you support like, Trump left. proudly, or are you more reserved about it? Either or is fine. <laughs> When's Jeff Keeley gonna get offered the position of fucking CEO? Oh, I know what to ask him. How big is Kojima's penis? Of uh, Xbox. No, it's gotta be a. Dude, it's gotta a be a. It's, it's gotta be a, a. You know, question, question. That is a question. That's a real question. I want to know how big it is. I know Jeff Keighley knows. Oh, wait, is it know... fairly average for a Japanese man, or is it impressive? What 
what did you do and on then the a follow up question does he stroke it at a medium pace? These are real questions. I want the hard answers. No pun intended. Ow, fuck. Just got hit in the face with a Molotov. Getting flashbacks to PUBG. <laughs> Time you you hopping on? I thought we were gonna play some PUBG bot games. Fuck that! Oh my god! All right, I gotta do something. What do I need to do? I need to do something. Rest. Um. Reloading weapon. This guy really wanted that fucking kill. He threw himself out the window and everything. Careful, Jason. He's in the building. Oh, you gotta play in battlefield. Yeah. Jason, there's a guy coming. Yeah. He came. I, I tried to do it quick. Yeah. We're playing Tarkov on console. Hello, men. And hello, from Yep. Hello, men. Around 50 meters from my position. here yeah there's a fucking dog over there it's chewing us up crack underscore wing okay Think about the fuck? It. I just got hit with a rocket. Can I pick? I can't pick this guy up. Pick, pick two for ten. I can pick this guy up. Oh, they're coming. Oh, yeah, they are. No. Yeah, the fuck they are. Downstairs. Downstairs. Fuck. Uh, what you know about Diddy? Nothing. I know he did. I know what he did. Do it. <laughs> yeah. 
Yeah, yeah the so? diddly, the diddler, uh, and the drizzler. did nothing wrong, just like Epstein. There's no proof. There's no evidence. Oh. It's all hearsay by quote just unquote like victims. Biden uh, they're all crisis actors. But. <laughs> <laughs> No, I, I, think he's, I think he's done. I think he's done for it. If Biden didn't do anything, did he? That's do not anything. what I was going for whatsoever. I was not. That was supposed to That's not what you were going for, but it's definitely what you needed to hear. I agree. Everyone needs to hear the truth every now and then. Dude, that's fucked up, man. Like, <laughs> it's, it's so real <laughs> that you just said that. No, I'm serious. It, I'm dead ass. Like, you, that word that you just chose was so fitting for this fucking example, man. Ooh. Come on, Ninja Turtle. We're coming, Jason. These fucks would be uh, a little bit more... Oh my god! Oh, oh. you got oh. <laughs> I got him in the tank! <laughs> yeah, don't even try to get me. <laughs> you got plumbed? Is that what you yeah, said? You got something alright. I got plumbed alright. Yeah, some something came at me with a fucking I don't know what, some fast as fuck fire rate something LMG or something. Came at me. It scared the shit out of me, and then I got hit with a fucking tank. It's a tank. Hey, it's that a tank. is a tank. Right, push up, push up. We're almost but there. no, almost there's there. more snipers than anything else on the map. I'd be a part of it. Tell me do it half a dozen times. I'll just tell you once. Okay, what is it? It's a win. It's a win. GG's. We're, we're wieners. <clears throat> and these crag guys are sweaty as fuck, I'll tell you what. That's really all they do is play this fucking game. <laughs> I couldn't imagine. Ugh. Jester Hagan, are you guys a Jester Hagan? Jester Hagan? Ogresaurus Shreks, what? What the Deep hell is in your head? So... What the fuck? It was all I, just I censored shit. I don't know what was going on. What were they trying to say? You ready? Oh, okay. Alright, well, I'm gonna go get gelato. Ew. You're gonna Ew. get this hour? At this time gelato? of day? Yeah. You mean glup gelato? Everyone's favorite Star Wars character who will be featured in the Acolyte. Yeah, my favorite. My my prime prime guy. And his gay lover, Dr. Butto. J Butto. J Butto. I think we need to bring Dr. J Butto. That's what we Late need. night. Tonight. Misa. Misa sad. Misa. I feel so bad for Jar Jar. He got so much unwarranted hate. We didn't know how good we had it. Until the woke agenda came. Yeah, no, pretty much. I mean, I hate chalking it up to the woke shit, because it's so much... It's more in-depth than it just being woke bad. 
Like, even on a fundamental writing level, the new movies are bad. It has li very little to do with any woke aspects, just the movies fucking suck. That's one of the things I kind of hate about the whole woke shit, is that it really, uh, muddies the fucking waters of any sort of conversation, because people automatically woke. assume, oh, woke, well, this guy believes in all that woke shit. This guy thinks yeah, everything's woke? bad because of woke. And it's, like, woke it's not that I believe everything's bad because of woke. I think woke is a factor in why things are bad. I don't think it's the sole cause. Just like anything, there's no real sole reason. You can point to things, right? Like, oh, why is Starfield so bad? I mean, we can point to the head writer and his method for making the game. But there's a lot of reasons for why the game is bad, and it's not just his fault. It's a lot of people's faults. It's most of management's faults. It's Todd's, Todd Howard's fault. You know what I mean? It's a multitude of reasons. It's never just solely on one person. It's just easier to make a conversation about it. It's easier to make the topic about that one thing than spreading it around. And then, of course... It becomes a buzzword, right? Just like with, uh... With the Fallout show, right? Like, uh... People who play New Vegas don't like the Fallout show. It's like, gee, I wonder why. It's probably because the show actively eliminates that game from ever even happening. Because <laughs> I, I... I didn't even remember this, but I did some looking, and the dates on the chalkboard or whatever for when Shady Sands gets nuked is like four years before New Vegas even happens. Which is just incorrect, because in New Vegas everyone talks about Shady Sands as though it's still there. No one mentions a bomb, no one mentions anything horrible happening. It's just... It, they just fucked up. They got- they either got the dates wrong, or they did it on purpose, and there's no telling which. <laughs> there's really no telling which. I could believe either one. Can I open this door, please? Holy shit. What? You know, any conversation with the Fallout stuff either boils down to... Oh, you didn't like it because you only like the original games in New Vegas. Or, oh, you didn't like it. Or, oh, you only like it because it's just Bethesda Fallout and it just has the shiny Bethesda stuff in it. And I think both of those are valid uh, arguments, but that can't be the only argument. Like, there's, there's more to it. There's more reasons to why the show is bad than it's just... Uh, ruins the lore. <laughs> like... The show in and of itself is not very well written. Uh, there's a lot of pacing issues, there's a lot of strange choices. Uh, and the dialogue is just not great. And a lot of that's self-admitted by the writers, and it's like, okay, well... What am I supposed to make of that? Because the, the fuck it, I, I still can't get over this man said with confidence. I think it's better when our main characters are stupid. It's more fun. Oh, uh, like, what? <laughs> That's pretty good. I like it. I like I it mean, when they're funny, stupid, too. Maybe, but, like, it's not... It's very clearly not the tone the show was going for. No. Not right? at all. Like, it's still trying to have its serious moments. Like, you know what it felt like? And this is gonna be a fun poll. It felt like Borderlands 2. And how Borderlands 2 is... a fundamentally different tone from Borderlands 1. Yes, Borderlands 1 did have goofy comedy here and there, but it was sparse, it was sparing. When shit got serious, shit got serious. Borderlands 2 kind of cranked that dial up to 11, and it was just straight, like, joke after joke after joke. You rarely had time to uh, appreciate the jokes, let alone think about what was happening. And the, the few times that they do give you a breath, a moment to think, it works extremely well. Because uh, I still remember Roland getting killed in that whole situation and how that was like a real... 
heavy hitting moment in the story. And of course the end of the game too is handled relatively well also. But everything else about the game is like, yeah, we just, we can't stop to think for one minute. We have to keep going. And then Borderlands 3 is the complete throwing away of any nuance whatsoever. Uh, Fallout feels a lot like that. Nobody takes the combat seriously. Nobody takes the situations they are in with any real um, fear or serious threat. Like, the, the beginning sequence is the most obvious part of this, where the raiders are just chewing through people like it's nothing, and it looks bad. <laughs> Especially when they're melee fighting, and they're just... It looks as bad as it does in the games. It's like, I don't know how much of this is intentional and how much of it isn't. I, I, I can't fucking tell. Like, did they want the fighting to look floaty and weightless like it does in the games? I mean, if they did, that's funny, but what are we trying to do here? Are we making a parody, or are we making <laughs> a serious take on the game? You know what I mean? Like, what are we doing? Because that's something you would do if it was a parody. You would make the combat look intentionally bad if it was a parody, because that's funny. That's uh, what it looks like in the game. It looks like shit in the games, because they're dated as fuck. And true. that's fine. But it's not a parody. This is an adaptation. And it's not even an adaptation. It's just an adaptation to the screen. It is a canonical story within the world. So it doesn't even get the adaptation argument. And maybe, maybe you could argue that, that that's why it's so shitty, because it actually takes place. <laughs> in the world but i still it's 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 a, it's an interesting subject the fallout show because it's something that we haven't quite seen before i think the only times we've seen things like this happen are with those little halo mini series that they used to do like right. nightfall and forward unto dawn and shit like that those were technically canonical stories that happened within the universe but um, obviously, things aren't going to look one-to-one -one with the game. And we're discounting the Halo Paramount show, because that's just fucking terrible and a separate canon entirely. I'm just strictly talking about the little miniseries that they used to make that were actually, like, fun. And, and, uh, not the best, but still, like, you know, had effort put into them. But, like, you know things were taken seriously. They didn't treat things like a ridiculous fucking goofy thing just because there's big dumb looking aliens. Like no, they were they were still very like fuck, that's a that's a a jackal, right? And then we're just talking like regular ass humans are like shitting their pants over a jackal. Cuz to a regular human a jackal's like no. 6 feet fucking tall. <laughs> so like yeah, that, that would scare that. the shit out of me if I saw that fucking thing. I don't know, it is... The Fallout show struck me as very, like, very much like Borderlands humor, where we're just not taking anything seriously. Like, you wanna make my cock explode now? Like, under any other circumstance, I would find that fucking hilarious. Uh, I just couldn't believe that the character was so fucking dumb. <laughs> like... Like a zero-intelligence character. Like, he really doesn't know how his penis works. How old is this man? You know what I mean? Like, what, you really expect me to believe this guy doesn't know what jerking off is? We saw a dude jerking off in the first episode. You can't tell me he doesn't know what that is. <laughs> like, it's... I don't know what it is. It's, I don't know, man. It, it's, it's just crazy shit. Crazy, crazy shit. And even then, I, I, I couldn't pinpoint exactly whose fault that show is. I, I would say the showrunners, but at the same time Bethesda signed off on it. It's certainly not the actors. I think they did a perfectly fine job. Uh, they're yeah, just doing what they're told. Piece of shit. But, you know, pinpointing blame is not an easy thing. It's just easier to throw it onto a specific person that says something stupid. Like the showrunner. <laughs> to me, this is a uh, this is like a I don't know. I just got here. 
type moment. Yeah. That's understand. Like, the, yeah, I get, like, for uh, someone or anyone that's not, like, super SK duper in the Fallout, it would David be like, I don't understand lost. what everyone's so angry about. And it's like, yeah, fair enough. I'm but, hostile. like. Yeah, David. Yeah, I guess that's probably why. Because I was trying to think to myself, I was like, why would people that have never seen Fallout like the show? And I think it's probably because they genuinely think it's a comedy. <laughs> they genuinely think it's a comedy. And that any serious moments are just ironic. That's That's gotta be what it is. Meant to appeal to all audiences. Unlike the game, which used to appeal to a specific audience, now it's also to, yeah. catering to the masses. That's true. Well, it's it's more or less because it, it's a Bethesda game now, and Bethesda games typically have to cater to the masses. Because uh, before it was, it's not an original Bethesda product. This was someone else's baby originally, and then they bought it. Um, and results of that being you end up with a very different product, not everyone's going to agree with how it's to be handled. I think there's certain things that Bethesda does with Fallout that I think are perfectly fine. Uh, like, people often, like, original OG Bethesda, not Bethesda, OG Interplay people complain about the music. I don't like that they're constantly playing the oldies. I don't care about that. I don't think it's that big of a deal. There's a, a couple of times in the show where I'm like, really? You're playing this now? <laughs> where it's like, come on. It's, uh, it's a little tasteless. That's a little... It's a little, uh... It's not a good time for that right now. Too um, soon. Yes. Yeah, it's like a too soon situation. And, like, it's... It's always, like, so suddenly. There's no diegetic way of it happening. Like, it just, it, the music just plays. Like, you couldn't just have a, I don't know, a radio <laughs> out somewhere that they walk past that oh plays my the God. music, and then it, and then it transitions into, like, you know, you hear it shittily on the radio, and then you hear it nicely on your TV, instead of, it just plays. Sometimes it just plays over the fucking soundtrack. Why, why would she do that? <laughs> I don't know. Oh, but I have no issues with the music they select. I, like, I don't know. I think you the music they select is fine. Well, the music they select is fine. It's just the places they put them are not, right? So it's like you have a really good soundtrack. An unironically good soundtrack. You're just putting it in all the wrong places. It's like you have the pieces to the puzzle, you just don't know where they go. You know what I mean? Don't know and I. What a puzzle even is. I struggle with that, right? Like, when I'm making the shorts, sometimes the music I pick doesn't always work the best. And I, I'm trying to find things that seem more appropriate for uh, whatever short it is, or, or fit better, or just have no fucking lyrics, <laughs> because that, that'll that make it easier to actually understand or hear what's going on, and it doesn't take away from things visually. Uh, I mean, even in the NHL short that we lit I literally just put out, that one's got lyrics, but I think it's, you know, it's not too intrusive, and it's mostly just because the, it's May 16th, you know? Oh, it's May. Uh, you might as well put one out. It's got May in the title. I'm like, yeah, fuck it, why not? And it's also just trying to line up the music with events that are occurring. Like, they could at least try to do that, but... It's... Golden Oldies we're talking about. They don't have... Especially for a fight, it's not the time. <laughs> a fight scene is not the time for music like that to be playing. Because it doesn't really carry... Um, a whole lot of weight to it. It kind of takes you out of the fight. Oh, I'm more taken seem, out of it. Seems more like a spectacle than it does an actual, you know, stake-holding fight. You know, you're not really afraid that anyone's of importance is gonna die. 
It's, it's almost like things are just happening and there's, you know, like a compilation. <laughs> you just put music on it to, to kind of add to the, the mood, but the mood just ain't right due to the music selected. It's, it's an interesting thing. A lot of shows get this wrong. Even fucking Star Wars has been fucking this up more and more lately. It's just my genuine surprise. Uh, they keep just either having terrible battle tracks or just the music just doesn't sound good. Or it just sounds not like Star Wars. It's, uh, like, you'll get music that sounds damn near like fucking Mass Effect. And it's like, what is this? This isn't Star Wars. Look at this sneaky beaver running out over here. You gotta be... You gotta be getting by. You gotta be getting them on. Fuck, I didn't even see that guy. About What's that your opinion tomorrow? on... On Black Ops 6, is that what number we're on? What have, have you heard anything? Have you, have you any interest in the Black Op 6? That's what me and Jason you. were talking about earlier. He was talking, he was asking me about Black Ops, whether or not I will get it. And my answer was, know. if it's on Game Pass, because I'm not paying for <laughs> Coming to a Game it's Pass. A... Coming to a Game Pass near you. Sometime. Fuck me, I hit the side of the building. God you damn. might not want to do that, champ. Yeah, I keep forgetting that I can. <laughs> Alrighty. I'm mostly interested in it. One, because they're genuinely calling it Black Ops 6. And not like Cold War or Gulf War. Or anything like that. Like, they're giving it a proper title, which is interesting. Like, is this gonna be a direct continuity to the old ones, or what are, like, what are we doing? We're doing. From what I've heard... I'm not certain about this, but from what I've heard, they're gonna be kind of breaking away from the whole Warzone thing. Potentially. If they do that, that'd be fucking great, but... Something tells me that's just a hopeful rumor, and not actually true. I feel like there's too much money and all that shit for them to just abandon it now. Jesus Christ. Think so? I think so, yeah. Cause you gotta think about how much money Microsoft's taking in now. Uh, now that they have Call of Duty and all of that shit under their belt. Like, they're making fucking bank. They're making so much money because people buy skins left and right. Like, they have nothing better to spend their money on. And I have a feeling they wouldn't be spending nearly as much if it weren't for Warzone. Especially when you consider how bad Modern Warfare 3 was, and how few people actually played that. Yeah, I don't know. Who played it? I, that's a good question. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> well, then. That's, uh, good to know.
<laughs> Will you be playing zombies when it does come to Game Pass? Uh, if it's on Game Pass, then yeah, yeah. I'll play zombies. It's on Game Pass. As long as it's not shitty Modern Warfare 3 DMZ zombies, then yeah. I'll play it. DMZ zombies was so fucking lame. Leave it to be better, oh, but I'm not sure. Jason's just not in here at all. Yeah, no, Jason went to the... to get, um... Gelato. Yeah, Jigglypuffs and whatnot, you know. Jigglypuffs. Cat. Ah, sick guy. Ninety meters from my position. All right. I can help you. Third time I picked this man up in one life. That's Karma 528 skin ammo boxes on C1. Karma 528 and C2. You son of a bitch! Skated ourselves into oblivion. That's nice. Is final shape out yet? Hell no. When does that come out? The sixth or something? Tuesday. Oh boy. Tuesday's coming. Did you bring your code? Nope. It's Tuesday the sixth. Six is when the Elder Scrolls comes out. That'll be a whole shit show for that game. Yeah, it's, probably. It, it's introducing the, the the spell crafting and shit, so that's gonna be all pay to win bullshit. Cause you have to buy the chapter in order to get it. They didn't make it a base game thing, which is really fucking scummy. Yep, yeah, that is scummy. Yeah. So I might just hold off <laughs> for a while. Or at least I'm certainly not going into any I'm certainly not going into any PvP shit, that's for damn sure. Alright, we gotta go under the bridge and through the woods. Yeah. House. Something. I don't know. Just I, I don't know. I just got here. <laughs> Fuck! Where the hell did he come from? Uh, 
got killed by shingles. It's just what we were talking about earlier today. Wow, that guy sucks. Surprised how well we're holding these objectives. Of course, the second I say that, the stream goes all fucky. Yes, that's what we're talking about, baby. <laughs> Fucking armor plates, god damn. Nothing. Oh, okay. I, I, I didn't catch it. That's probably why. <laughs> oh, 
don't tell me, don't tell me. Don't tell me. I won't, don't worry. You can count on me. The cell of the, what? The fucking sycophant? The sycophant. Citizen's arrest? Cloister. Epstein. Ah. The defiler. <laughs> I can't fucking even right now. I don't even know what the fuck this shit is. Deep dive? I'll give you a deep dive, or Please. The Mbaru engine. I'll give you that. Boy. Dog it. See what happens. Oh, that's death over there. Really? Through smoke? Come on. To America? Death from America. Show about Sisyphus. Sisyphus? Sisyphus. Ah, uh, Sisyphus. I know a fair amount about Sisyphus. Yes. No, but that. Them fussing sissies and shit. That Neil Riga. What you think? Neil Riga? I know a lot about Neil Riga. How you feel about Riga? I know a lot about oh, Rigger's Mortis, me. too. Neil Riga. I know. Jesus, fuck me. God damn it. Neil Riga. Well, that's gonna Neil. be a hard cut. <laughs> yeah? I mean, it's not easy to fucking say that. Neil Riga? I think it's easy. Riga this, again. Riga that. Can a Riga borrow a French fry? Zero, ah. zero, 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 If you are first thought was oh my again. god, he said it. He said the word. It was, oh, shit. how's a Riga gonna borrow a fry? Riga, is you gonna give it back? What the fuck? Where the fuck? What just happened? What did I just spawn into? Come on, Spade Meister. They got one ticket. Come on. P zero 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 tur. That's what I thought, boys. Boys. Final kill. <clears throat> what a close fucking game. <sighs> Even with a clan on their team, they couldn't win. Clansmen? Yeah, a couple of clansmen. <laughs> Couldn't tell you if any of them were black. I think one of them was. Guardian, my balls are sweating. <laughs> what the fuck? Rip oh, freaky ass ghost. <laughs> what do you just say? We woke in the hive. Whatever shall we, we do? Woke in about the our hive. Dates? Rub your dicks hard, fast. No, oh, it'll scare them off. Better to have a tomb husk and not need it than to need a tomb husk and better to have than to need not all, have it always. And he kills while aiming at LMGs. God, so fucking needy. Disruption, smoke, and spot assist. <sighs> Logistics and wingman ribbons. <sighs> Health replenish teammates. 
What the fuck is an EMKV90 Tor? I don't know what that is. What the fuck it's is the, that? Uh, it's the railgun. No, it's not. Oh no, it's not the. It's the. I think it's a marksman weapon. No, that's the thing. I I looked through it like what? Oh, five it's weeks the vehicle. Ago. It's the tank. Vehicle. Ah. Uh... Which one? <laughs> I don't know I'm what gonna, the names I'm of these not tell you. Believe vehicles you asked are. me not to tell you. Oh, okay, sorry. I won't ever ask again. Uh, that's so fine. Don't, I just want to make sure you don't have to remind me. You also you don't have to tell me either. Uh, I also don't think you'd even have to ask. <laughs> but. If you'd like to impose, you can. I'll allow it. <laughs> Only if you tell. Yeah. No, don't ask. And especially don't tell. So much telling. <laughs> no, no, With don't tell no me anything. at all. <laughs> oh, God. oh, God, this is a shit show right off the bat. I don't know what I'm shooting at, I'm shooting at nothing. I'm shooting at ghosts. Like in Call of Duty. <laughs> Fuck me. Why am I still playing this? I should have stopped. <laughs> no! You keep playing it! No, I don't even want to play it. It's, it's not like there's anything worth getting in the battle pass. This fucking game's over. God damn. There's no one else playing. I mean, I was not gonna Where's jump in there. Gone? Yeah, I don't blame you. Either. That's, uh, about 15 hours until the game is over, right? So. Yeah, I don't think I'm just gonna quit. I don't even want to play this. I'm, I'm just. I don't even know what to play anymore. The... Humanity. I no, I don't really care enough about humanity. <laughs> <laughs> I I do not care for humanity. It insists upon itself. <laughs> mad, mad, uh, mad man. Yeah, I don't know. Yo, what the fuck, bro? Oh man, I can what get the, the the inseminator thing soon. Cool. Yeah, it's just fucking. They're still trying to sell things. I don't know what will be a dead game soon. <laughs> uh, Coop your losses now. Yeah, pretty much. I guess I'll just go back to crawling out. As long as you just don't fall out, you'll be fine. I might. I just Please might. Please don't. Oh, well, I don't know if I can help that. What the fuck is this guy's gamer picture? Holy shit. I don't... No, I don't even want to take a picture of this. This is horrifying. It's a Wojak that is straight up, like, huffing farts. Like, there is a bare ass in front of him, and there's just, like, six stink lines going straight up his fucking nose. How is this allowed? <laughs> How is this great. one? 
How is this one okay, but I get banned for the the, the gay tag. track? Uh, Finn Gleam. Finn Bleed? Finn Spleen? Finn Gleam. Finn Space Gleam. Like the helmet in Oblivion. I don't know, I just got here. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. I just got Lewis here. Lewis Leg Week also has a very classic... Uh, Japanese Excuse Donald me. Trump as his gamer picture. It's very. It was lead leak. Is that what you just said? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. No, that'd be a good one though. Lead week. What's his name? Louis Leg 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 Week. Ludwig. Okay, you're watching the 50 hour fucking Fuck fast no, 50, I don't even huh? Know who that okay. is. Oh. You mean the owl from Harry Potter? Is he streaming now? <laughs> yes. Nice. 24 hour flyby stream. <laughs> Delivering All right, mail we're, to we're, everyone in need. We're sending notes again. We gotta, we gotta, <laughs> another delivery stream. Fly from one end of England to the other. Less than an hour. <laughs> These owls. What they do is they, they they fucking they weigh they weigh down the letters so they just go up to extremely high altitudes and just drop a shit ton of paper on the population. It's just raining mail. Just insignificant yeah, like, mail that has nothing to do with me. Like that one scene in the first movie when Harry gets a bunch of letters. I like to imagine that like 90% of those are just like taxes <laughs> that the Dudleys have been evading for years. <laughs> that have finally shown up on their front door. There's I fucking hate them now. so much. <laughs> Yeah, that's, how, that's how you know I hate the Dudleys so much I, I would wish the IRS hunted them down and bombarded them with letters to, to, to really let them know like you're fucked, you're on the radar now what you're still getting off it so I could come up with one of the Stranger Things movie oh god is there gonna be a movie for that? really? I thought they were doing a season they are, but they're also doing a movie on this dude. I don't know. Oh boy. <sighs> Fucking hell. <laughs> hey! I just got. Holy shit. I just got Riven's tooth. Uh, don't tell me. <laughs> I just got here. <laughs> oh, trust me, I plan on not doing that. Oh, Can't fuck. Maybe they added a gun. 30 kills while aiming. <laughs> what, for the delivery? Time. Delivery out. <laughs> Yeah, they gave him a fucking what's this thing called? A DFR strife? It just looks like an AR fifteen LMG conversion. I don't know how they're supposed to carry that thing along with letters. Looks kinda big. DJ Long Lettuce? Oh yeah. <laughs> DJ Niggle Tips. <laughs> you still streaming? <laughs> Yes! <laughs> <laughs> <laughs>